It's hard to understand why celebrities would leave their glamorous life in Hollywood. Maybe that's because it's not as glamorous as we think, and believe it or not, some want celebrities want nothing to do with it anymore. Today on Beyond the Screen, we are checking out the top 10 Hollywood celebrities who mysteriously disappeared. I'm your host for this one, I'm Joss Bedard, thanks for checking us out. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss another video. You can also come say hi on social media, all of our links are down below. But for now, let's get to this list. Starting off our list at number 10 is Jennifer Lawrence. If you are a fan of the actress, then you might be wondering where she has been lately. She hasn't appeared as a lead in a film since 2018, and there was a time when she was appearing in most of them. Turns out she didn't disappear on purpose or have some epic plan to leave Hollywood, but her presence has not been made known and she hasn't been around much in the last few years. Even before the coronavirus pandemic started, Jennifer had been quarantining in her own little world, it seemed. Turns out she took some time off from acting and got married, which was completely private. She started dating her now husband, Cook Maroney, in 2018, and their wedding was on October 19th, 2019. The whole thing was kept as private as possible, and some would say her priorities were changed due to this new chapter in her life. But some good news, she is set to return to some movies next year. She signed on to a movie called Don't Look Up, which is now delayed until 2021, so it might just be her big comeback. Here's Hope, and I really like her. Up next, number nine is Macaulay Culkin, probably one of the biggest examples of a celebrity disappearing from the Hollywood limelight. During the 90s, he was a child star that rose above the rest, and it seemed like his future in the industry was very bright. But he suddenly disappeared, and people were wondering what happened to the most famous kid on earth. In 1994, he had three big movies that year, and all of them bombed at the box office, which would definitely have an impact on a 14-year-old actor trying to make it big. He officially took his exit from the industry in 1995, during a difficult time in his personal life. His parents decided to separate, and they were facing a very vicious custody battle over Macaulay and his siblings. In the end, reports say his mother got full custody, and he was estranged from his father ever since. We didn't see him in movies for many years, and any time the paparazzi found him, the articles reported that he was struggling with a drug addiction. It wasn't until recent years that he has resurfaced and is taking on smaller projects, but on his own terms. Swiping the number 8 spot is Meg Ryan. For a long time, she was known as America's sweetheart after taking over the 90s with her beauty and talent. After her first movie role in 1981, she kept getting job offers to a point where she had to drop out of college to focus on her film career. She was starring in some of the biggest rom-coms to this date, but then just disappeared in the early 2000s. Some people thought it may have to do with the scandal when she was caught cheating on Dennis Quaid with Russell Crowe. Almost a decade after the scandal, she revealed that she was treated like the Scarlet Woman after that scandal happened and revealed that Dennis had been dating other women too during their relationship. She also admitted that leaving Hollywood was actually a dream. During an interview she said, I have gotten what I guess I secretly wanted to do, be totally under the radar and live my life. Meg had no roles from 2009 to 2015, but in recent times you may see her in paparazzi photos around New York or some events because she will always be Meg Ryan. During her time away she completely reconstructed her face though, so she may not be as recognizable as when you saw her last. Up next, number seven is Jonathan Taylor Thomas, another heartthrob from the 90s who just disappeared from the industry randomly. He's mostly known for his role on the hit TV show Home Improvement, but he was winning over hearts ever since he performed the voice of young Simba in The Lion King. But when he reached his late teens, he quit Home Improvement, did a couple indie films, and then just vanished completely. A very bold move for someone who was just at the height of their career and probably had a long successful one ahead of them. He is now 39 years old and hasn't walked a red carpet in over 15 years. So where did he go and what has he been up to? Turns out that he loved acting but hated the fame and attention being directed at his personal life. So he left and decided to focus on his studies instead. At 19 years old, he enrolled at Harvard University where he spent two years studying philosophy and history. A few years ago though, he did make an appearance in Last Man Standing where he was reunited with Tim Allen who actually played his dad in Home Improvement. But he did it just for fun and says that he enjoys his life outside of Hollywood. Rolling in summer six is Rachel Platten. The singer skyrocketed into fame with her hit single Fight Song. She grew a huge fan base rather quickly and one fan even made it on The Ellen Show after 
she did an emotional cover to the song Fight Song. Her music career was gaining a ton of success and she's even gone on some pretty epic tours. But in recent times she's gone quiet and has not been putting out new music. She opened up about her reasoning in 2019 saying that after having a baby she struggled with postpartum anxiety. She opened up about it in a lengthy Instagram post where she said that even when she was on tour she was crying in bathrooms some days because the anxiety was so difficult. So once the tour was done she poured her heart and soul into being a new mom and less on the Hollywood life as a singer. But she did recently pop up on TikTok and said that she's creating new music and is hoping to be back into it soon. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Cameron Diaz. Back in 2014 she was one of the most sought out female celebrities in the game. She was appearing in tons of magazines and taking the lead in comedy rom-coms. But then she suddenly disappeared from the limelight and was no longer showing up on our screens. It wasn't until 2018 when she admitted to Entertainment Weekly that she had officially retired from acting. Fans were shocked at first but later found out that she went on to have a more quiet family life. She got married to Benji Madden and they had a little girl so her attention and priorities completely switched. As it would for a lot of new mothers. Reports say that having a baby was one of the main reasons why she left Hollywood. Reports claim that they were trying to get pregnant for a while and nothing was working. But fans did get a nice surprise recently when she did a Skype interview with Jimmy Fallon where she talked about being a mom and what she is up to these days. Taking over the number 4 spot is Jack Gleason. The young actor played King Joffrey in the hit TV series Game of Thrones but then announced he would be retiring after its 4th season. Despite being just a teenager when he started the show, he has hinted at retirement on more than one occasion. But in 2019 it became official. He spoke with Entertainment Weekly and said that he's been acting since he was 8 years old and doesn't enjoy it anymore like he used to. He said, Up until now acting was always something I did for recreation with my friends or in the summer for some fun. I enjoyed it. When you make a living from something, it changes your relationship with it. It's not like I hate it, it's just not what I want to do. After he left, he moved back home to his family and joined a Dublin based theatre company called Collapsing Horse. So he's still acting in some way. Making her way into number 3 is Mara Wilson. If you watched the movie Matilda when you were a kid then you quickly fell in love with the title character and hoped that she would be your friend and teach you all of her cool magic tricks. The movie is a cult classic and the actress behind the iconic character, Mara Wilson, had a very successful career lined up for her. But just a few years after the movie was released, Mara decided to quit the biz. Many people couldn't understand her decision and reasoning so down the road she wrote a book called Where Am I Now? The Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame. After leaving Hollywood and growing her personal life, she found a passion for writing and started writing her own novels. She now lives a very normal life but said that sometimes she will act in smaller projects with her friends. In spot number 2 is Freddie Prince Jr. The actor was popping up in movies all over the place between 1998 to 2003 but then just disappeared without much reasoning for it. He did try to make big comebacks but his last big screen appearance was in 2008. He was a huge heartthrob in the 90s and won multiple Teen Choice Awards for his roles. But it seemed like his career had lost some momentum and he ended up trading in his movie career for a family. He married actress Sarah Michelle Gellar who also retired from Hollywood and now they have two children together and have changed their career paths. When asked if he would return to acting he said, I love being a full time father. To remove myself from that equation would not be a good thing, I'm basically retired. After acting he turned his focus on cooking and now has his own cookbooks which I thought was very random. <laughs> We have made it to number 1 and we have Amanda Bynes. She had everything she needed as a young star to climb to the top. She seemed passionate about her work and was determined to keep her success going. Fans absolutely adored her in every role that she took on. But then everything sort of took a turn and fans no longer saw her on their screens. Articles started surfacing showing she had been struggling with substance abuse and was getting in trouble with the law, being arrested for DUIs and other minor crimes. She was in and out of treatment center for years and fans were hoping that she would find her way back. But her struggles actually go deeper than just drugs. Reports say that she struggles with mental illness and has been trying to find treatments for it. In recent years she has been able to turn her life around working hard to get an education. She recently received a degree in fashion after studying at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles and her lawyer said that she's thinking about creating her own clothing and perfume line. Alright guys that is our list. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps us out. But for now I'm going to end this video with some comments from Celebrity Feuds We Never Saw Coming Part 2. Zim Nasarella says it's Kim Kardashian's 40th birthday today. Well, happy belated birthday, Kim. That is very random information. 
Steve Cash says, I like the opening intro. I hope it comes back. I really liked the intro too. It was not my call, but I honestly, I don't think it's coming back. I'm sorry. Radical Rainbow says, Martha Stewart should do a cookbook on how to make prison food. <laughs> you know what? That would've been really funny if she did like a little, almost like a joke about it, but she really should've used that to her advantage. Casper41291 says, another reason to love Cher. Just one of many, probably. All right, guys, that's all I have. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss another video. I was your host, Joss. I will see you next time.